Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever colored in a picture? You might not have known it, but you were doing math. You were filling in the area of shapes. The inside of two-dimensional shapes is known as the area. Two-dimensional means that it has both length and width. Area is measured in square units. For example, take a look at this square. It has a length of one unit and a width of one unit. This is called a unit square and it has one square unit of area. What happens if we add another one? Let's add another one. Now there are two unit squares. This rectangle has an area of two square units. The U stands for units. And you see that two that's over the U? That is read as squared. As we continue to learn about area, it's important to remember to have the two over the measurements. And in case you were wondering, that two is because we measured two sides of the shape. All enclosed shapes have an area. Uh, enclosed, that means that all of the sides touch and there's no gaps. For now, we're gonna focus on rectangles, squares, and triangles. Triangles, huh? Well, how can a square measure a triangle? Well, take a look at this. Two triangles can be used to create a square unit. And this must mean these triangles are one half of a square unit. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's practice finding the area of some shapes. All right, this shape looks like it has six square units inside of it. And that means it has an area of six units squared. Oh, how about this shape? Well, I can see that there are three square units needed to create it. And that means it has an area of three square units. Very, very good. I think we're ready to move on to some practice. Now, Cindy is trying to find the area of her yard. And she's marked out some one foot squares. The question is, what is the total area of her yard? Okay, there are 13 squares. And that means that it has an area of 13 square feet. Ah, good job remembering the units. We could show our answer like this, 13 square feet, or we could show it like this, 13 feet squared. Nick is painting a dollhouse and wants to know the total area of the front of the house. Okay, I see that there are some triangles in this shape. So let's start by counting the whole squares first. Okay, there are four squares. So that makes four square inches. Next, we can look at the triangles. I like to create a square around them so that I'm reminded that the triangles are only half of the square inch. We have two triangles, and that means we have two half units. Well, two half makes a hole. So let's add that one hole to the four below it, and that gives us a total area of five square inches. Whoa, look at all those triangles. Uh, this means that there are a lot of halves. No worries. We know that two halves make one whole, or two triangles make one square unit. So let's find as many pairs of two as we can. Here we go. Uh, this is a pair. And here, that's another pair, and one more. Well, there are three pairs of triangles. And that means that each pair is one square unit. So this shape has an area of three square units. We did it. I want to create a shape that has six square units. And here we have six unit squares. Well, we can combine them to make a shape. Let's combine them like this. Ooh, what a cool rectangle we made. But can we make other shapes? Wow. Look at all these neat shapes we created with six unit squares. But I bet there are even more. Since all of these shapes have six unit squares, all of them have the same area. That's right, six square units. That was pretty fun. Let's try with just one more. Problem five. Create a shape that is four square inches. All right, we can start by drawing four squares. Let's put them together. Here are a few examples of how you may have put the unit squares together. How creative. 
Okay, let's look at one more problem where we need to find the area of the shape. Each box is one square inch. Let's count how many square inches are in the first row. Hmm, looks like there are four. Okay, there are four more squares in the second row, so we have eight so far. Next, we have four squares in the last row, so this shape has 12 squares. This means the area is 12 square inches. How we found that area sure seemed familiar. That rectangle looks like an array. And we found the area the same way we learned about multiplication. How interesting. I bet we explore more of that in the video soon. But before we go, let's review what we learned today. You learned about area and how it's the space inside of a shape. And we were also introduced to the square unit, a way to measure area. Don't forget, area is measured in square units. We remembered to place that adorable two with our measurements every time. That's all for now. Great work. Luckily, we still have more to learn about area in the next video. See you then.